Today I want to show you how to start making money with your blog. And if you have traffic already coming to your site, then implementing the first two methods, you'll start seeing results immediately. Okay, let's get started. The first method I want to show you is by adding display ads on your site. And specifically, when you're first getting started, you'll want to look at adding Google AdSense to your site. The biggest reason you want to look at Google AdSense is simply because there is no minimum traffic requirements. And that means that as soon as you put that on your site, even if you're getting very little traffic, you'll at least start to see a few pennies a day or a month. And I will tell you, that first penny or that first dime or dollar that you make on your site will be a game changer in your mind. I remember in 2009, my first AdSense recording was like $1.53, but that changed my whole perspective on making money online with my site. And it'll do the same for you. Now, once your site starts getting more traffic monthly, say 10,000 views or more, you'll want to start looking at other ad networks as well to compare to see which one will give you more revenue. The next way is also an easy way is to start doing affiliate marketing. A lot of people nowadays, they use Amazon Associates as their main affiliate marketing. And that's simply because it's way easier. Everybody buys things, everybody tries things out, and you can create a whole article on the product that you were using and how you like it. And the great thing about the Amazon Associates is once they click on that link and go to Amazon, you will get credit for anything that they buy whether it's that product that you recommended or something else that they buy entirely. Anything that they buy during that 24 hour period, you'll get credit for it. Some other big affiliate marketing networks are also ShareASL, CJ, which used to be Commission Junction, and Rakuten will do that as well. And practically every store that you can imagine, every product that you have ever used, you can go out and do a search on Google and say your product plus affiliate and find their affiliate program, sign up for it, and then you can start promoting your favorite products on your website as well. Honestly, doing those two things when you're first getting started in making money on your blog, you'll just see a huge change in the way that you work on your website. The next one, let's talk about creating a membership website. This is a really good idea if you have knowledge in a certain topic or area that other people want to know about. And it doesn't have to be professional related. It can be in crafts. There are a ton of membership websites in the quilting, tiny home building, RV living, as well as a lot of online marketing type sites. And with a few different WordPress plugins, it makes it really easy to create a membership site. When you create a membership website, you're basically giving people access behind a paywall where they can log in and they can see content that's not out there anywhere else. And you can choose to set this up as a ongoing yearly membership fee or a one-time lifetime upgrades, what have you. The, the choice is yours. Next, create a directory website. This can be a paid item and it's typically things like a job board for a specific area, a business directory, typically in your town, that's a big one. You can also do topic related directories. And most of the time you're getting the money by paid submission, either on the submitters part or the people who are looking. Angie's List is a perfect example of bringing contractors and people looking for contractors to work on their house. FlexJobs is another great directory where people are going to look for remote work or temporary work. So think of a topic in an area that you can provide for both people looking for something and people offering something. And then that's a great recipe for creating a directory website. Next, you can sell an ebook. And basically this is just you going out and researching a topic and making it as useful and informative as you can. And it's usually an entry product for some of these other things like creating a membership site. Actually, a lot of people use an ebook to sell first. And then the next step is they'll either do an online course or a membership website. The next way to make money is by becoming a coach. And this usually involves a one-on-one -on -one feature with you either with one person or maybe a handful, but a manageable group of people that they have a certain amount of your time and you're helping them with this. Typically, this is a business coach or a life coach, maybe a fitness coach. But it can also be in other ways, say in design or development or marketing or even offline stuff. You can be a quilting coach or a guitar playing coach, music coach, language coach. I've seen that as well. And this is a great way to really increase your authority in the area that your blog is about. 
Next, you can sell an online course. And typically what people do is they'll do an ebook first to see how it does, the popularity of it. And then they'll take that ebook and turn it into an actual online course. This can get you more money because there's a lot more involvement in it on the student's behalf and on your behalf. So just know that there's a lot more upfront work that you'll have to do in creating the videos, in creating the printables, the things that go with the course. What a lot of people do when they sell courses is they'll offer different tiers of support where you get a little bit more interaction with the teacher in the premium course than you do with the basic. And then once you're done creating the course, you can use a WordPress plugin as an LMS or a learning management system that delivers the course to the students. And it's in a progression style. So once they finish one lesson, then they'll go on to the next. Two really good popular plugins for that look into LearnDash and MemberPress. The next way is to sell physical products online, basically setting up an e-commerce store or, or an online shop and sell things either that you've made, maybe that you import, or even be a drop shipper where you're simply reselling and somebody else ships it on your behalf. In thinking up ways to make money online, this is probably one of the easiest for people to understand because they're simply selling a product that somebody wants and they understand that very well. Next thing you can do is you can offer freelance services. So you already do something as an employee somewhere, simply offer your services to businesses or individuals on your own. And then the last one is actually becoming a WordPress designer or developer. When people first get into WordPress, it's pretty common for them to really like setting up the website for themselves. And then they start doing it for friends or family and realize that they wanna do that for clients as well. So consider doing that to sell on your site as well. So those are the 10 simple ways that you can get started and making money on your blog. Let me know in the comments below, which one are you going to start today? And thanks for watching.